Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about another logic family that is integrated injection logic. Integrated injection logic. It is also known as current injection logic CIL. In short, it is IIL or I square L. Okay. So it is also known as also known as current injection logic current injection logic so actually this type of uh, integrated injection logic is the newest of all the logic families it is the newest of all logic families okay most commonly used in used in lsi and VLSI circuits most commonly used in LSI large scale integration and very large scale integration circuits. So the I square L logic gates are constructed using bipolar transistor only absence of resistors makes it possible to integrate the large number of gates in a single package. The main motto of this integrated injection logic is to increase the number of transistors to be fabricated on a IC. Okay, in order to increase that number of transistors, what we are doing is uh, the resistors which are used for carrying the current from one place to another place, like uh, current limiting resistors, all such resistors in the uh, logic gates must be replaced by the transistors. That is the main motto of this integrated injection logic. So, all resistors will be replaced by all resistors will be replaced by transistors only nothing but BJTs ok so as all the resistors are replaced by transistors what we are doing it increases it increases the packing this density of IC ok so as the number of transistors are increasing to be fabricated that means in a, in a single small area number of transistors to be fabricated is more compared to the earlier cases ok and the integrated injection logic has the propagation delay it has a propagation delay TPD is equal to 1 nanosecond. Okay, this particular logic family is having this, uh, this type of characteristics like a propagation delay is 1 nanosecond and power dissipation is 1 milliwatt. Power dissipation is 1 milliwatt and noise margin is equal to 0 0.35 volts. Noise margin is 0 0.35 volts and fan out is equal to 8 and the relative cost is very low and the relative cost is also low ok these are the important specification and characteristics of this integrated injection logic so propagation delay 1 nanosecond power dissipation 1 milliwatt and no, uh, noise margin noise margin is 0.35 volts fan out 8 and relative cost is also low now let us see how the inverter can be created using this integrated injection logic normally when you are using all the transistors basically you will be having an inverter like a PNP transistor with input grounded and we are having a transistor like this with a resistor connected from VCC to this output point output node so when let us give this is the input 
where we are applying the input and this is plus vcc now let us take this is the low level and this is the high level that means high to low low to high that's it that is nothing but your inverter so when low input is given already this transistor is in on state because it is a pnp transistor input is grounded so always the transistor is set to be in on state that means it is have it is offering some low resistance bar between vcc and this one low okay when input is low what happens when input is low the transistor which is connected here npn transistor is switch off when this transistor is off there is a current flow from r to output from vcc through r to output okay this is a simple case how the inverter is going to be occur when the output is going to be directly taken from vcc so output is equal to logic high and input we have chosen it as logic low okay in opposite case also when input is high of course this particular transistor q1 is always on and q2 is always al alternating based upon the input conditions that depending on the input conditions this can be replaced with a complete structure with the transistors like so the output input is directly given to multi emitter transistor multi emitter npn transistor this is output 1 output 2 okay so this is plus vcc we will be having the same action here also when input is equal to logic low and output is also logic one logic high okay but the reference is previously we have used a resistor but this resistor is not there because we are replacing the resistors using transistors see here this particular base to input junction is having one transistor and again similarly base to collector is having another transistor okay so output we are taking from that collector now using the same case we can uh, using the same integrated injection logic you know, we can also design nand gate so how the nand gate is designed in nand gate or nod gate also we are not using any resistors then same structure we are going to take here input is ground here it is plus vcc this input is applied commonly to understand so this particular transistor is having ground here and this is the output this is the output it is q2 it is q1 now these two inputs are short circuited and given to the transistor input okay that means when 0 0 suppose if you are giving 0 if any one of the inputs is 0 if any one of the inputs is 0 then what happens it passes low here if a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 output is here we are passing 0 logic low if a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 then also we are passing only 0 because these two cases are getting multiplied okay and similarly if b is equal to 0 and a is equal to 1 then also you will be having low output at the input of base of the q2 now take the last case take the last case for all these cases output y is equal to something like 1 1 1 now coming to the last case apply both inputs as high these two multiply together and produce as one here that one make the transistor q2 on So output becomes zero. Okay, in this way we can design simple I square real NAND gate. Similarly, we can also design I square real NOR gate with the similar configuration like the previous case. But here we are having two two more transistors additionally. Yes, as it needs a series connection for our operation. here also second set from collectors of these two we are taking the output nothing but y and this is the input we are giving a this is the input we are giving b 
and this is the plus VCC here and here also it is plus VCC okay so this one is to be grounded and this is Q Q4 Q3 Q1 Q2 here Q1 Q2 are directly switch on always they are always switch on see this is PNP transistor not P and PN this is PNP transistor as the input is grounded PNP transistor always set to be non state it provides a low resistance to path between VCC and this input terminal of the Q3 and similarly it is also providing some low resistance path from VCC to this input B okay so now let us see let us check the operation a b 0 0 so a equal to 0 b equal to 0 that means what happens q1 is in on state because q1 all the transistors are uh, which are connected at this particular vcc to input connection in the previous examples also that particular transistor is set to be on state always it exhibits a low resistance for path from vcc to this particular point input point okay so when what happens when input is equal to 0 here 0 here 0 that passes to the input of q3 so q3 of q4 of output is equal to what happens of 1 because we are connecting the other end to logic 5 again for 0 1 but what happens one transistor is set to be in on state either q3 or q4 if any one of the transistors is in on then output is directly connected to the ground through them so output is equal to 0 again 1 0 output is equal to 0 but for 1 1 the same case output is equal to 0 ok so this is NOR gate operation in previously we have seen NAND operation ok so this is the integrated injection logic integrated injection logic we are integrating more number of transistors in place of resistors all in place of all the resistors along with the original transistors in the next video i will tell about the emitter couple logic thank you